Oh boy, you can see nothing. Ah, oh, fuck. No, 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 no. What's up guys, it's Moshman, I'm back on Atlas and I'm at the resting place of the Windrider. I've stuck a diving attachment on the side of my brig on the storm cooler. Oh boy, I've had a little bit of a move around with the cabin, made it a bit smaller. I don't really like it, but I've tried to save a bit of weight and I've also took the bottom deck out. Um, wasn't really using it, just seemed like a waste and it saved me some more weight. I've got the rest of the cannons made for it as well, which I didn't have before, so it's now got a full accompaniment of cannons on it. Not got the full crew, but I've got to go get them. I'm going to use the diving suit, going to drop down and try and salvage my ship. I've also scuttled the Wind Viper, my original Shuna. I was going to modify it into another ship, but I don't really. I, I'd stuck a tag at the front and I didn't like the look of the name, so I've scuttled it. I'm going to remake it. I'll just make a speed Shuna, and then, um, as you can see, I've got them in the docks over there, and we've got the brig in the other docks, and that's going to be the multi purpose brig that I was on about before on the last episode where we lost the Wind Rider in a tragic, tragic battle uh, that was going well right until the end, so go check that out. If you're new to the channel, guys, smash that subscribe button and ring the bell. Uh, I do weekly videos, mainly on Atlas at the minute, but I'm hoping to introduce more stuff later. And uh, more importantly, guys, if you do like the content, smash the like button for me. It'd really help me out. But back to the matter in hand, let's get this loaded up. going to stick my fish oil in my diving suit. Which to me doesn't make sense. I don't want to be breathing in smelly fish. But uh, whatever. You have to use oil. I've got fish oil. Uh, and now we can equip the diving suit. Oh boy, you can see nothing. Wait, what? So I've not done this before, so I have no idea what I do. I guess I'll just walk off the edge. Oh, you can see nothing down here. Oh, even when you go out, it... Um leaves the effect on like you're looking for a helmet. Look at him. So they've updated this now, so when you're in the water in a diving suit, uh, everything's passive towards you. Well, there she is. I can salvage her, so I'm going to go ahead and collect all the bits up off her. Oh, wow, you get... Wait, do you get more resources from salvaging her? That's pretty cool. Oh, look, I can collect all my stuff. <laughs> Oh, well, you can carry a lot more in the diving suit than you would be able to any other way. Oh, this is actually good. I weren't sure what happened. You seem to get, like, your f almost your full amount back. I'll have to have a look. I've got to say, it's pretty weird with this view, though. So, 109 wood back from that deck. So, I'm going to have a look afterwards and see how much a deck costs. Oh, boy. There we go. Wow, I'm going to unload all my stuff and do another run. That should be enough to collect everything off of it. Then I'm going to head over to another island and see if I can find a draft to get tamed up because uh, I keep running out of fact real quick now and uh, I'm really sick of gathering it with a pick. How do I get up on here then? Oh, I've got to use a ladder. I thought it was going to winch me up or something. So there's been a bit of a change of plan. Um, the server's been down for an update. So I was going to go get a draft off one of the other islands in the uh, desert climate. Um, I couldn't find one earlier, but then obviously, like I said, the server's gone down. Um, but one thing I noticed in the desert was I kept dying, or nearly dying, from overheating. So I'm kind of hoping... Oh my god, I can't believe this just landed right in front of me. If I get a parrot like this, oh, it's only level 8, and drag it into a cage... Oh boy, it worked! Um, and get it tamed, it will stop me dying when we're in the desert. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> it was too low level anyway, I was hoping it's higher level than that. Anyway, I'm going to try and get a parrot into the cage. I've just been running around trying to do that and get a um, hook on one. And every time they've landed and I've hooked it, I've not been able to get it in the cage. And I've done it twice and both times a parrot managed to fly out for some reason. Uh, but actually were that time and I killed it. Oh, this one's... Stuck in the roots, I can't grapple him. Let's see if I can aggro him, drag him into the cage like that. Um, I think I found out why in one of the other episodes I couldn't run as well. I couldn't work out what it was. I think it was the sword. I think you run slowly with the sword. I'm stuck in here with it, but well, this might work. Wait, what? Is that got it? Oh, I think it's in there now. Oh, 
What? Oh my god, these parrots are absolute wimps. That's two I've killed. That one was a high level. It should have been alright. I was only level 36, but still. Alright, let's try and grab another one. <laughs> it almost worked. Oh, I got that one. Get that one out of the sky. Maybe I'll have to come over here with it. Well, this one's level 68. This will be nice. Get in here. Got it. Bowler. Yes. Oh, he's only gone and done it. Bit of a weird position it is in there, but whatever. Got some hard tack as well, so I hope this will tame up pretty quick. How do I feed it? Oh, this should work out alright. Yes, yeah, so I'm hoping if I get a parrot, it will stop me overheating when I'm in the desert. I think this is going to get out of its bowler before I can uh, tame it up fully. Yeah, so I'm going to have to shut this. And then just try and poke it through here. Like that. Got that one. Ah, oh, come on! Got it, right. This should tame before it comes out this bowler, because it's stuck on the gate, and as I've opened the gate, it's pulled the parrot out of the cage. <laughs> yeah, we got a... Uh... Oh, it tamed out at level 101, that's pretty nice. I'm still going to call it Pilkey. Oh, there we go. Um, so for every level the parrot has, the higher the level of fortitude it gives you. So that's pretty nice that's tamed out at 101. It's a shame I couldn't get a higher level one. It's tamed out at 101 anyway, that's pretty good. And it's a nice colour. She looks cool. So I've found some drafts. Uh, I've been on here for hours now. There's been a server reset and a couple of updates and stuff. Um, I had a little look for some drafts earlier and when I found them I had to come off anyway but um, it was a nightmare. I hate the desert regions, they're so frustrating. I've tried everything now to stop dying from overheating. I've pumped fortitude, I've got a bloody parrot, which I don't know if that works or not but it does increase fortitude. None of it's worked, even when I'm naked with a whole stack of fortitude I still die of overheating. So, so frustrating. But there's some here, there's some high level ones here, but they just take so long to tame. I've tried taming a couple and it's just not working out. It's just impossible. I can't actually physically stay in the heat long enough to tame them um, playing on my own. So it's a bit annoying. I'm going to have to find out what the crack that is. But I'm going to settle for just a low level one so I can hurry up and tame one and get back and uh, obviously start farming some facts with one. That's all I really want one for. Um, if I need a higher level one, I'll get one later, but but whatever. Hopefully, we can get this one. It's only a level four. Um, I'm gonna try and tame it using the billboard method. Whether it'll work or not, I don't know. Hopefully it will. But I was gonna bring my bear to help kite things and tank stuff, but I forgot him. So I'm gonna try and do it like this. You drop that down there. That's got him. Hopefully, he'll come into it. And get oh, the game's bugged out. Not what I want right now. Ah, oh, it was not letting me play some properly. That'll do. He's properly in there anyway. I love this game, but there's just so many little bugs that do wind you up after a while. But whatever, we've got him in there now. Hopefully, I can get him down low enough without killing him. Right, that's got to be low enough. Right, try and throw it underneath there. Now hopefully I can feed him. I've been having issues as well feeding them. Doesn't matter where I stand, it don't seem to let me feed them sometimes. That has worked though. Right, hopefully this is going to work. Um, I do like this billboard method. Um, saves a lot of resources I guess. And um, yeah, that was kind of easy apart from it bugging out a little bit while I was trying to play some. Oh, he's up. I have to knock him back down again. Hope we can do it without killing him. Is that going to be low enough? Yep. Ow. Oh, there's a goddamn vulture in now. Please don't troll me. I hate this game so much sometimes. That was the perfect kind of moment to get Atlas right there. Probably still might. Oh, oh no. Come on, please don't troll me. Oh, he needs one more beat and I can't get to him. I hate this sometimes. It's so frustrating. It's 
been perfect the whole time. You get to the last one, it don't work. Go on. Oh, it weren't enough. I thought that was the last one. No, he stood up just as he's about to tame. Oh, what is going on today? Right, that's got to be enough. Come on. Got him. Please eat some food. Got him. Yes! I'll name him later. I'll just want to get him on the boat so he don't die. No, 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 no. Oh! Oh, I nearly died to that vulture. I told you this game was going to troll me. God, I deserve that. It's taken me so long to get this draft. I think I've got a saddle with me, actually. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, boy, they're so tall. Right, let's just get him back to the boat. We'll have a look at him in a minute. Let's get away from here before he gets eaten by a vulture. So I've had massive issues with the overheating. I've tried stacking fortitude. I've tried getting the parrot, obviously. I don't know whether that works or not, but it does increase fortitude, so I hoped it would. I've tried dumping all the fortitude and having um, increased health. And to be honest, I've noticed no difference in having no fortitude to having lots of it. Uh, just on these desert places, and if you go somewhere freezing cold, the game's just ruthless. That's what it feels like. But I'm trying to make short episodes, so I haven't got some of the attempts I've had at taming a giraffe. I have died a couple of times trying to tame it today. I found a level 72 one earlier, and it killed me um, because I was overheating. I didn't even get it halfway, it was taking so long. Um, and it's just been a nightmare, so that's why I've settled for a lower level one. I'm hoping. If I do need a higher level one, which I'm not sure I'm going to, uh, I'll try and get it when I've got some better gear and stuff and hope that with better gear it will make things easier, but god damn that sucked. Oh boy, I'm back on my island now. Uh, named it GG, GG the draft. <laughs> it's like swinging a giant baseball bat. Um, I was kind of hoping I'd get a lot more fat for a swing than this. Well, it's better than using a pickle space, that's what I was hoping for. They're really cool to move around on that, and they're pretty quick. She looks pretty good as well. On the way back, somehow I've lost my parrot as well, so I'm going to have to get another parrot. We'll go back to the island and try and find Pilkey. Um, I'm sure I had him when I got back on the boat. I don't know what's happened. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and farm up some fat with GG the Giraffe now. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to make some shorter episodes to see how that goes. Um, although this took longer than any episode I've ever made before, and it's going to be one of the shortest. But whatever, I hope you liked it. Um, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like button, really help me out. And if you like the content, guys, why not hit that subscribe button as well? And smash that bell as well to get notifications when I put up new videos. And if I go live, I'm hoping to do more live streams on YouTube, so you know, you'll know you get notified when I do that. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, guys, and I'll see you next time.